Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, snort, snort. Cody. Drip, snort, snort. I got the drip. Yeah. Okay. By the way, this really isn't part of DSP News, but I forgot to talk about it. So the other day, I did an impromptu and random poll on my Twitter account. For those who don't know, I do have a Twitter account. And yes, I still call it Twitter because X is fucking stupid. Uh, it's uh, twitter.com or x.com forward slash at they call me DSP or just search for at they call me DSP over there. Okay. <clears throat> um, so FYI, I did a poll. And basically, here's what I said. I said, curious question. Does anyone even care about me posting to extra Twitter anymore? I pretty much only use this for my schedule since Elon bought it uh, and being verified has lost all meaning. I have no idea why I even still have 27,000 followers on here. Thoughts? And the poll had three options. Number one, just keep posting as is. Number two, just post to YouTube. Forget about X and Twitter. Or number three, I just don't have a preference. Okay? <clears throat> so if you're not aware, uh, when I first started, on Twitter a long, long time ago, okay? Which was like, I, I want to say it was like 2010. I only actually made a Twitter because my viewers wanted me to. Um, they wanted a way to have a direct dialogue with me about topics and stuff uh, that wasn't in video comments, right? Back then, keep in mind, I wasn't a live streamer yet. So it wasn't like there were live streams where we could have a conversation together back and forth on, on a daily basis. It was more, you, know, you, you post up for my Ask the King show, right? Or you leave a video comment and you hope that I read it. There was no really direct line of contact with Phil. So I think that's really why people wanted my Twitter back in the day. Now, over the years, I've used Twitter for various different reasons. Sometimes I just used it to post up completely nonsensical stuff. Sometimes inflammatory, insulting stuff. All right? Sometimes I actually really used it to post up intelligent stuff. <clears throat> for the most part, I use Twitter to post up my daily schedule. So at least people know that I have these games and ideas and streams coming up. And I usually post up there as a stream is going live. So people know what to expect on, my, on that live stream that's now live. It's like a trigger. So you know, oh, come on to the stream. Okay. <clears throat> now, what's happened is over the years, I just stopped using it for various things. Like I, I even had some tweets that went viral over the years. I had a tweet at the Oscars a few years ago during the Will Smith slap incident that got insane amounts of retweets and faves. People loved the tweet, right? But it was it was basically like social commentary on the whole situation of what had happened. Um, so I know that if I wanted to use Twitter more seriously, I could. And I could get noticed if I felt like it. And by the way, my Twitter account was verified. Why? Because actually I was being one of the, impersonated constantly by trolls and idiots. And so having the verified account made everyone know, hey, this is the real Phil. That's how I got verified. A lot of people wonder, how do you get verified on Twitter? Essentially, you had to prove that you're someone who is dramatically uh, impersonated. So that way, if you own a business or an entity like I do, I say, hey, here's my business. I'm getting impersonated constantly. I need everyone to know this is my real account. And then they verified it for me. Okay, that's how it used to work anyway. So being that I was one of the few YouTubers with a verified Twitter account, a lot of others had tried to get it verified for years and just couldn't. Um, people actually paid attention to my tweets, you know, even though I didn't even use it that much. But then Elon bought it, right? And when Elon essentially bought the site, he changed so much about it that now the site is almost unusable for someone like me. I'll give you some examples. He made it so that no more verified users based on any kind of useful criteria. You just buy it. Oh, if you just pay, spend money on the site, now you're verified. So what does it mean to be verified? Literally nothing. Everyone can be verified. There could be 400 impersonators of me that are all verified. So then verification is worthless. Okay. People who pay now get their tweets amplified, meaning someone who pays for the check mark actually will always get priority and people will see their tweets way more than someone who's not. I'm not saying that people who aren't verified never get seen, but it's incredibly hard. And it's funny to me because there's people out there who outright hate Elon Musk and hate everything he stands for and they pay for the check mark because they've resigned themselves to the fact that they are a slave to social media. They need people to recognize them on social media. So they pay him anyway. 
even though they claim that they hate this guy's guts. So ever since this happened, I essentially said, you listen, I just don't see the point of using Twitter anymore. My tweets would never get seen regardless because I'm not paying for a blue check mark. There's no, there's no real advantage to having it unless you're going to be using Twitter frequently for, for stuff that you feel is important. And all I do is I post up my schedule, right? So I had enough of it. And I said, I'm just not going to use this thing anymore. You know, I'm literally just going to post up my schedule and when my streams are live and that's it. So I've been doing that for about a year. But now I've posted a lot more on the community tab of my YouTube channels. I feel like if you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and you want to be in the know, I'll post up stuff to my community tab. That way you don't have to go to Twitter to find out. You can just be subscribed to that channel that you're interested in. And that's how you're going to get, you know, the information about me. So that's how I've done it for about a year. And it seems to me like that's, it's been working, right? But what I'm noticing is that literally, I'm not kidding, I have 27,000 followers on Twitter. And they're all probably legacy followers. These aren't new people following me because I don't post anything of interest on there. If you're already subscribed to my YouTube channels, you don't need to follow my Twitter. Get it? But with 27,000 followers, how many people realistically actively still follow my Twitter? Right? So I did this poll. And here's the results. All right? 590 votes. That's all I got. In 24 hours, with 27,000 followers, only 590 people bothered to vote. Think about that. So no one cares about Twitter anymore. Essentially, Twitter has gone boo down and no one cares, which I'm not surprised. I'm really not surprised. Elon has killed the fucking business. No one follows it anymore because no one gives a shit. Here's the poll results, by the way. Um, no preference, 22%. So 22% said, I just don't give a shit. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> just post to YouTube only. Don't post on Twitter anymore. 27%. All right. And then 51% said, keep posting here as is. So if you take a look at that, 590 votes, 51% would be what? Like around roughly 300 people said, keep posting on Twitter. And 22% said, I don't even have a preference, right? And that would be what, like <clears throat> another 100? So essentially 400 people actively care about me on Twitter. And that's it. So I went, just think about this. I went from having 27,000 followers. When I would post up tweets, I would actually get hundreds to thousands of likes and retweets depending on the tweet. But usually I would get a lot of attention on my tweets. And since Elon bought Twitter... Now only 400 people actually care about Twitter out of 27,000. <clears> wow. By the way, ahem, Tesla's not doing so well either. Tesla is tanking right now. All of their products are failing. They're not delivering the product they've promised. Their sales numbers and stock prices are down. Um, Mr. Musk is in a bad way. He's just ignoring it and not talking about it. But anyway. Oh, excuse me. Uh, sorry, there's something in my throat. Um, so yeah, so I'll be honest with you guys. It really is dumb as shit that, that the business has tanked the way it has. And I'm not going to put effort or anything into it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to, I'm going to keep going forward as I have. I'm going to just post up my schedule and, and post up when a stream is live. And I guess that's it. There's really no other reason to ever post a thought or anything on that site. It seems to be a complete waste of time. Oh, by the way, yes, Coop, listen. I'm not saying that Twitter was great beforehand either. Before Elon owned it, it also had a lot of issues. Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> but the point I'm making is that basically it was a usable site that functioned properly. And you could actually use it to get noticed and get attention and get your thoughts heard. Now you cannot. The site has literally suppressed everyone who doesn't pay for a blue check mark. I mean, case in point, I have 27,000 followers on Twitter and 590 people voted on my poll in 24 hours. No one sees my account. No one cares. Which, again, I'm not complaining. I'm just stating a fact that I don't think there's a point 
to using that site for anything significant at this point unless you're just going to pay for it. Fuck that. Elon can kiss my fucking ass. So anyway. Um, all right. Let's continue. I got the drip going. 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 It's like a faucet that's dripping. You can't make it stop. So what do you want me to do? Have a have a mute button that every second I'm tapping the mute button just in case I, I'm going to have to clear. Like, this is what I mean. These, these dumb kids. This is what it is. It's dumb kids. 